Here's a quick tutorial on how to laser cut your SVG file and save it onto Lenovo by the laser cutter. All right, I'm in my Google Drive. Let's say I'm in Aquas. Here is my file. Make sure you name your file last name, first name. If you have it, make sure you click there, hit end as a Nancy, and make sure you change it so it's last name, first name, sticker.svg, or whatever it is, .svg. Again, make sure the SVG is at the end right there. Now that I've renamed it, go ahead and click on it. There's my file. I'm going to hit this download button. New window should pop up. It'll download to the bottom left over here. And it should just automatically go into the downloads folder. Next, I'm going to make sure Inkscape is already on and make sure Retina Engrave is also on. When Retina Engrave is on, make sure you turn on the laser cutter and make sure it is connected on the bottom left over here. I'm going to go ahead and minimize this. Now I'm in Retina Engrave. I'll just go to File. I'm sorry, I'm in Inkscape right now. Inkscape is this little black mountain. Go to File, Open. I'm going to open my SVG file. It should already be under Downloads right here. Now, this is why it's so important to rename everything correctly, because everything's alphabetized in here. So I'm going to look for my name, Spotagen Sticker. There it is. Now I can open it. Here it is. Again, make sure your file is named correctly so you can find it easily. So here's a shortcut to help you laser cut things even faster. Go to File, Print, just click Full Spectrum Engineering right here and hit Print. What that will do is it'll automatically send your file to the Retina Engrave software and line everything up for you so it's ready to go. There's nothing under raster engrave, but everything should be under vector over here. And there's your file. So if you're going to be vector cutting anything, make sure you set your speed accordingly. If you're doing plywood, it should be probably 75 for speed. Make sure you click ignore raster. And as long as you're connected and your laser cutter's on, you should be ready to go. And that's it.